The late iconic singer, actor, and humanitarian Charles Aznavour loved Armenia, and Armenia loved him back. Both sentiments were celebrated when I visited Yerevan in October and stayed at the legendary artist's favorite hotel and second home, the Grand Hotel Yerevan. How better to pay homage to the superstar than by naming the hotel's presidential suite after him? Meanwhile, his son Nicholas and daughter-in-law Christina, the co-founder and CEO of the Osnavour Foundation, continue the legacy of the French-Armenian luminary by opening a brand new physical and psychological rehab center in Armenia's Lori region. A press conference was held at the Grand Hotel Yerevan to make the announcement. The storied hotel also held the grand opening for the Osnavour presidential suite, as spectacular as Osnavour's extraordinary career. I spoke to Grand Hotel Yerevan's general manager, Nicola Mandolini, during the event. Nikolai, thank Great. you for having all of us, hosting us in uh, this fantastic hotel, the Grand Hotel Yerevan. It's our pleasure to have you here. This is a big day because um, you're paying homage to the great Charles right. Navour, right. who stayed here, and this was his favorite hotel, for many years, right. and you are naming and grand reopening the presidential suite with his name in his honor. Correct. And it's also a great event because uh, it's, a, it's a benefit for his foundation, which does a lot of humanitarian and social work in Armenia. So having said that, how do you feel and what does this mean to you? Well, you correctly describe what we do, what we, what we have for Armenia. Uh, the Grand Hotel Yerevan is with uh, 93 years of history without any doubt the most iconic hotel in Armenia is that uh, the legacy with this past is very strong. What we do today is nothing else but reinforcing that uh, legacy with our past and uh, the collaboration with Azna Wood Foundation, as you currently said, allows us not only keeping alive the name of Azna Wood Maestro Azna Wood, but even uh, m providing social support uh, to these projects that are, that are supporting uh, the communities, not necessarily only Yerevan, but even out of Yerevan, to build and to make stronger this relation with Armenia. I can't think of another hotel in Yerevan that comes close to what the Grand Hotel is. As you said, it's iconic. It's part of the city's fabric. So much rich history with artists and intellectuals. The Grand Hotel Yerevan has been doing great, uh, despite sort of ups and downs in, in hospitality and travel. Uh, you know, you guys are a staple, so people come to you first. Uh, tell me about that. How have you been able to really sustain that? 93 years, that's the history. That's the history. Uh, yeah, there is a pandemic, but what makes the difference is the legacy that we have with our past and the relation we have with our guests. Let me invite you to come to Armenia and join what Armenia has to offer. There, there is a, a grand hotel. There is an hotel that is offering unbelievable services. And for those services, you can come and you can visit us. You can be our guest, but don't come for the hotel. Come for Armenia and Armenians. We are here to provide you luxury services. I also spoke to Nicholas and Christina Osnavour about the foundation and Charles Osnavour's incredible legacy. Christine and Nicholas, thank you for doing this. I'm really um, honored and privileged to be talking to you uh, on this fantastic day, paying homage to your dad, your late uh, father-in-law, uh, the great, iconic Charles Osnavour. What does that mean to you? First of all, I have good memories in this hotel uh, because it's uh, where we stayed with my dad when we came to Armenia. So it, uh, it was uh, our home here, in fact. Um, he used to stay in, in the presidential suite, which is uh, renamed after him. Uh, our family and the foundation, we uh, collaborated with the Grand Hotel uh, Yerevan to bring some uh, objects and they redecorated everything. Many people, many tourists who will come, they will be able to touch, if I can say like this, the legacy of Charles Aznavour, to discover his books, uh, to discover objects, to know him better. Because some of the people know him like, uh, I don't know, artists. Others don't know that he did 80 films or he writes so many books. And uh, in this room, you will be able to discover everything. So. It's a way for the hotel to honor my father's memory, but also it's their way to 
contribute to social projects and giving back to the community, uh, which I think is great. And us, it allows us uh, also to do some social and humanitarian projects. One of them we are doing thanks to support of French government. The, one of the other problematic that we uh, saw during the war, that everything centralized in Yerevan, I, I speak about rehabilitation centers in Yerevan and there is another one in Gyumri. But after the one year, all these boys who was in Yerevan, they obliged to go back at home. And there, there is no rehabilitation centers and facilities. Nothing. So we decided no physical therapy, no so follow-up with doctors. So that's why we, we decided to create third biggest rehabilitation center in Armenia, Which in will Vanadzo. Be Vanadzo. And it's not only physical aspect, but also psychological aspect. Because many uh, families don't realize that they have a PTSD, or their child have, or their father, because they don't know what is it. So we are bringing the French specialists from Hospital de Percy, and uh, they are forming uh, the specialist in the hospital of Vanadzor, and also they are working with difficult cases, uh, with families who uh, cannot one year after cannot really uh, live normally. So we really saw results. We already did two sessions. First session, it was only families who. Uh, lose someone, father or brother, and it was quite difficult, to be honest, psychologically. Another big project that we're doing, and we will announce very soon with Armenian Minister of the Health, it's a reconstruction of the biggest mental health institution in Yerevan. Uh, yes, and mental, in Armenia. In Nor yes, at uh, Nubarashen. The mental health was never considered something important in Armenia. And with COVID and with the war, we realized that this is a very important. So this is one of the projects that are going also at this moment and we're doing a fundraising for this. So nine buildings will be reconstructed and the ten, uh, the new building for the pediopsychiatry, I don't know how to say it in English, I'm sorry. Pediatric psychiatry. Yes, yeah. will be created there. The first in Armenia. That's so fantastic because not just in Armenia, but in so many parts of the world, even parts of the U.S., mental health still has a stigma. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell everyone that's watching how to contribute to the foundation, how to get in touch with the foundation. So everyone who would like to support our foundation, they first of all should go to the asnumberfoundation.org to find out what we are doing and also subscribe to our uh, Instagram, Facebook, all our social media and uh, they can donate through the website or write to us so it will really help us to continue uh, the legacy of Charles Aznavour, his humanitarian and cultural legacy because what we are doing, we are trying to do the small part of what he did during his life and you can become part of this and you can support us. So you are doing a lot than a small part and he's, I'm sure he's very proud. Charles Aznavour was not simply a performer, rather a larger than life icon. Likewise, the Grand Hotel Yerevan is not simply a resort, rather a Yerevan landmark, and I'm thrilled to stay at this elegant and extraordinary hotel every time I'm in Armenia. This is Vic Jaramie, the editor of The Blunt Post and host of The Blunt Post with Vic on KPFK 90.7 FM.